Man, hold up. What's the deal, baby? It's the big boss. How boss dog K pro through the door. Let's talk to this box. Where y'all been, man? It's a gloomy day down here in this Texas. It's cold. You know, hence why I got the long sleeves on. Y'all know when I'm in this car, I'm about to go train. So, y'all bear with your boy, man. Uh, so, I've been seeing, man, um, I guess the uh, PBC representative uh, came out and said uh, there's no money in the Terrence Crawford fight and things like that. And we're going to talk about it, man, because I don't believe in it. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I don't. I know he said that. I don't believe that there's. You know, a lot of people are saying, oh, PBC don't want to make the fight, PBC. And I'm like, bro, L. Spence still got to fight Ugas. Y'all forgetting that. L. Spence still got to fight Ugas. I don't, this is what I'm saying, okay? Because I've been hearing a lot of people talking about L. Spence fighting Terrence Crawford and all this other stuff. And, oh, L. Spence don't want to fight Terrence Crawford because the fight's not being made. L. Spence still got to fight Ugas. Okay? He still, we don't know if L. Spence going to beat Ugas. Now, let me throw a disclaimer now. I think L. Spence will beat Ugas. But we don't know. We don't know that. L. Spence still got to fight your Dennis Ugas. So all this stuff about L. Spence and Terrence Crawford is ridiculous. It's, it doesn't matter right now. L. Spence has to beat your Dennis Ugas. He has to. He got to beat that dude in order to make that fight with Terrence Crawford. You can't make a fight for Terrence Crawford if he get on your Dennis Ugas and he lose. Make that make sense to me. Why would they be trying to make a fight with Terrence Crawford right now? That doesn't make any sense. Now, they've made some valid points about Terrence Crawford. As far as, because Terrence Crawford believes that he should get the either 50-50 or it should be 60-40 his way because he's he was undisputed at 140. And he feels like he's done more in his career than L. Spence. And if I'm Terrence Crawford, I take the 40%. Here's why. You sat there and said that he feels like he's the better fighter than L. Spence. Makes it even better if you take the 40% and you beat L. Spence. You already said you better than him. You already, and let me say this, the diehard Terrence Crawford fans. I'm a Terrence Crawford fan. I'm talking about the cult ones who, who believe Terrence Crawford can go to heavyweight and beat Tyson Fury. I'm <laughs> All I'm saying is, if you believe in your heart of hearts that you're the better fighter, you take that 40 and you get in there and you beat them. I be, I mean, some of my videos I posted, people were saying Terrence Crawford beat L. Spence easy. You see what I'm saying? And we ain't even going to go over the ducking terms because <laughs> we ain't going to go over that. L. Spence is looking at it from a business perspective. He looking at it like, bro, what have you done? Well, I mean, as far as you ain't sold out no arena, your pay-per-views is trash. PPC looking at it the same way. Granted, why Eddie Hearn didn't want to sign Terrence Crawford? Why Bob Arum is saying that Terrence Crawford, he wasted money on him as far as for pay-per-views. You see what I'm saying? Like, the, the dude from PBC is not saying nothing that Bob Bam didn't say and Eddie Hearn just said. So I don't even understand why, oh, well, PBC, they're ducking. Ducking what? What are they ducking? Please make that make sense to me. What are they ducking? What are they ducking? I'm trying to figure this out. Like, this is retarded, bro. Y'all just be saying stuff just to say it. You got a fighter like L. Spence who got in a car accident, which we could say, hey, that was his fault. We could all agree with that, right? Got in a car accident. 
have every reason when he came back from that car accident to take a tune-up, he fought Danny Garcia, who was ranked in the top five in almost every sanctioning body. Okay? Fights Danny Garcia. Okay? Then he was about to fight Pacquiao. Eye injury. Comes back from the eye injury. He finna fight your Dennis Ugas. And to be truthful, when he was finna fight Pacquiao, everybody was picking Pacquiao to beat him. Okay? Everybody picking Pacquiao to beat him. Everybody. Everybody. Because there was some leak sparring where El Spence was, was sparring uh, one of those guys who fight like Pacquiao. And, you know, they were like, oh. And the guy was getting the best of El in sparring. And everybody was like, oh, Pacquiao for the beat. The brakes off for El Spence. You got all these elite fighters on PBC. They fighting each other. All of them fighting each other. PBC got all the elite fighters. Kind of what top rank doing with their fighters at the lower weight classes. They're not letting their fighters fight outside of, you know, top rank or anything like that. Top rank got a lot of talent at 130. They got a lot of the fighters down there from 130. And they keeping that stuff in-house. Granted, why you think that Lomachenko got the opportunity to fight Teofimo Lopez? What did Teofimo do to earn the right to fight Lomachenko? Now, granted, we can go into top rank, don't look out for their black fighters because they doing Shakur Stevenson wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because Shakur Stevenson want to fight Oscar Valdez, and he ain't getting that fight, you know, which I think is BS. I feel like he's done enough to get that fight. But whatever, you know, that's a whole nother topic. The fact of the matter is, is that Bud need to take that 40, man. He need to take whatever. If it's 60-40, take it. Fight, you know what I'm saying? If it's 70-30, take it. Fight. Now, granted, L. Spence still ain't fought your Dennis Ugas yet. So you don't even know if L. Spence is going to beat your Dennis Ugas. We don't know that. It could be your Dennis Ugas versus Terrence Crawford. So all this, you know, how can you make an L. Spence fight when L. Spence ain't fought Ugas yet? So let's say that they say, oh, yeah, Spence, make, I'm, I'm just doing this so y'all can make sense, so you can make sense of this. L. Spence makes a deal to fight Terrence Crawford, right? But then loses to Ugas. Now what? Well, it's going to be El Spence versus Terrence Crawford for his one belt? Like, what are we doing? What are we talking about? They not negotiating no fight, bro. All the dude from PBC was pointing out is that Terrence Crawford, his, based off of his fights, you know, his pay-per-view numbers and all that, he has not lived up. Yeah, you know, his numbers are not good. So it would be very hard to offer Terrence Crawford a certain amount of money as far as 50-50 or 60-40 his way and it be success, a successful pay-per-view. Now, I think it would be successful regardless. I say make the fight. That's my perspective. That's my opinion on it. I say if Aaron Spence beats Ugas, it should be easy to make that fight. But it's all based off of if Terrence Crawford signs with a network. If he signs with Fox and he is able to sign with Fox and get, you know, a guaranteed to where he can fight um, the winner of Spence Ugas and then he fight Keith Thurman. Boom. He don't got to sign with Al Heyman. He could just sign with the network and say, hey, I want to guarantee that I get the winner of Spence Ugas and Keith Thurman. I said that. That's an easy business model. Two fight deal. He signed it. He can go off to the sunset. He can go off, or he can, after that, 
If he become undisputed, he can go up to 54, which I'm telling you, I saw somebody post a comment talking about uh, Terrence Crawford will, will rule 54. No, he won't. And then I'm going to tell you, Terrence Crawford get hit too much, bro. He get hit flush by Tony Harrison up there. He get hit flush by uh, Jason Rosario up there. He even get hit flush by J-Rock up there. Y'all got to understand. These dudes at 154 walk around probably about 170. 170. You know what I mean? Some of them 180. I know about Jason Rosario. Maybe he walk around about 180. These some big dudes coming down to 54. You telling me Terrence Crawford is going to go up to 54 and get hit flush and be able to eat that? No. That boy going to get sprawled out like that boy. Uh, What's that boy that fought Deontay Wilder? That was doing all that talking, that Haitian dude. That boy looked like a seal. When Wilder was standing in front of him like some, some anime, <laughs> that boy was standing in front of that boy like some, some Dragon Ball Z stuff. And then punched that boy, and that boy slipped, bit backwards on the ropes, eyes closed, looked like a seal. That's going to happen to Terrence Crawford if he goes to 54. If he goes to 54, he goes to 54, fight Tony Harrison, Jason Rosario. Even J-Rock, he going to sleep. I'm telling you, he needs to stay at 47. If he become undisputed at 47, he needs to retire after that. He don't need to go to 54. That's not nowhere where he needs to go. Because, yes, do I believe Tess Crawford had the skills? He does have the skills. The problem is him getting hit. He get hit up there because Tess Crawford's stubborn. He get hit flush, he going to sleep. I promise you. I'm, te I'm, te I'm <laughs> telling you. I'm telling you this because I know this. There ain't no small dudes up there. There's some big dudes up there, bro. Jermel Charlo ain't no little dude, bro. I'm telling you. But can Tess Crawford become undisputed? Yeah, he can. You know what I'm saying? Do I believe he'll do it? No, but he can. I already broke down the fight. If if, if Terrence Crawford fight uh, Errol Spence, he has to come out and be first against Errol. And he got a box Errol. You know what I'm saying? He cannot allow Errol Spence to uh, get in a rhythm or anything like that. He got to come out and start fast against Errol Spence. He can't do that stuff that he did be normally doing where he uh, has a slow start and he trying to read you and figure you out. Against Errol Spence, that ain't going to work because Errol going to keep that jab in your face. Bud got to start fast against Errol Spence if, if that fight happens. Now, if he fights Ugas, he may be able to start slow. You know what I mean? Because Ugas is a different type of fighter. He's a tough fighter, but he's a different type of fighter. You know what I mean? He may be able to stop Ugas. He might be. May be able to stop Ugas. You know what I mean? I, I'll say that. Ugas is a, but it ain't going to be easy. Ugas is going to make him work. But Bud got that dog in him. So I I, I think if Bud get opportunity, you know, if it's Bud against Ugas for the Undisputed Championship, I think that, you know, Bud will stop Ugas. I do think it. But it's going to be tough. Right? It's going to be late. You know what I mean? I think it may be like 10 through 12. But Bud, gonna, it's going to be one of the toughest fights. It's going to be like that Gamboa fight. And I do predict that uh, Ugas will knock Bud down in that fight. But I think Bud going to get up and stop him. That's what I believe. You know what I mean? But against Errol, he ain't stopping Errol Spencer. He just not. What he going to do is he going to have to outbox Errol. He going to have to outbox and outclass Errol for 12 rounds. You know what I mean? That's what he going to have to do in order to beat Errol. But if he start trying to get in that dog mode and all that, Errol going to stop him. That's just what it is. <laughs> I'm telling you. But this whole notion, you know, I've been saying about, oh, he said that PBC doesn't want to make the fight. But man, they they talking about from a business perspective. That fight going to happen, bro. It's going to happen this year. It's going to happen. If L. Spence does what I think he going to do against Ugas. You know what I mean? If Elspeth does what, he, what I think he's going to do against Ugas, that fight going to get made. You know what I mean? So, I, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's a good fight. It's a good scrap. 
You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's one of the biggest fights in boxing. You know? And I think Terrence Crawford will be impressed at how they're going to treat him with respect. Because Terrence Crawford, top rank disrespected him, bro. They disrespected him as a fighter. We're going to keep it a buck. They disrespected him as a fighter. Just how he's... He should be known worldwide as a fighter. Just his skill level, his talent. He should be known worldwide. And he's not. Think about it. When, when A lot of times, Terrence Crawford, they'll announce his fight. They'll make a brochure. And then after that, there's no marketing for the fight. They're not having Terrence Crawford go to... For example, Earl Spence, when he was going to fight Michael Garcia, Earl Spence was doing a lot of interviews and, you know, going on this talk show, going to that talk show, uh, going to the Dallas Cowboy game, you know, going to the uh, SMU game, you know, halftime, being recognized. It's marketing. They're marketing him. They're getting him in front of the people. they seeing him, you know what I'm saying? I remember the Wilder versus Fury fight. Um, I'm at the gas pump. They showing a commercial for Wilder versus Fury. When it was El Spence versus Mike Garcia, I'm seeing a commercial at the gas pump. Uh, El Spence versus Mike Garcia. They weren't doing that for Bud Crawford. You wouldn't hear nothing from Bud until this the week before his fight, where they do the media workouts, and then the week of his fight, when they go interview all of them, and he got to do the weigh-in and stuff like that. That's it. So, I think Bud, if he does that network deal, and, you know, he'll be impressed at how they're marketing him. He'll be, you know, he, I think he'll be impressed. You know what I mean? Because he ain't being marketed right. He should be bigger than, you know, what he is. We're going to keep it a stack. They've done everything, but, you know, they disrespected him. And that's why a lot of top fighters leave top rank. Oscar De La Hoya left. Floyd left. You know what I mean? I can keep going. Top rank is good at finding you, but they're not good at keeping you once you surpass, you know, a certain level of star power. And start them. They don't know what to do with you. They don't know what to do with a mega star fighter. They just don't. They don't know, okay, we need to do this. See, PBC, they have mega stars. They know how to promote them. Even if you're not a mega star, think about how many fighters who you look at Jose Cito Lopez, right? When he have fights, they they do behind the scenes stuff. He still get treated with respect. He still get the opportunity to build his brand and get out there. You know what I mean? He's not a bad fighter. He's just, he's not at the elite level anymore. You know what I mean? But they still give him opportunity after opportunity. You know what I mean? To market his brand and market himself as a fighter. You know what I mean? And they weren't even doing that on top rank with Bud Crawford. We just going to keep it above. So... Chill out with all this stuff. El Spence still got to fight Ugas. You can't make a fight happen if he is supposed to fight. He ain't fought this other dude yet. So, it is what it is. I said what I said. I did what I did. Like, comment, hate, and subscribe. I'm gone.